<laughs> so again, So uh, back again, a little problem. So I'm back again now. Hello there, Connie. A little bit of a problem a little while ago started the stream then this idiot hacker from a gamma took out my IP address knocked us all off it's not the first time it's getting a regular occurrence get fed up with it mm. Just making some little aeroplanes. Are you still working on your logo build there, Connie? If I go offline again, you know it's happened again. So... Yeah, exactly, Connie. The last time it last time it happened, it took my internet out for nearly five hours. My son, he does a lot of gamming. All right, he can get a bit heated with people, but he goes on this particular game, and. Uh, well, it's obviously they don't like him. As soon as he comes on, they they knock him out and text out the whole IP address. I've even been in touch with Sky, and they 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 couldn't do anything. They said you have to wait until let the hack run its course. So it took nearly six hours. So if my internet goes off again, you know what's happened.
working on the computer, camera setup at the moment, need different camera angle for enterprise build. Oh yeah, because you're going to, of course you're going to, uh, you're going to build that art, Johnny. I'm looking forward to that. Are you going to light all that one up, Connie, or are you just going to build it standard? Oh, soldering techniques there. Huh? It's not as hard as you think, really, Colin. Oh, very nice. All light kit and a photo etch set on the way. Both due in mid August, so you're going the whole hog then, yeah? Wow. Why not? If you're going to do a build, you might as well do it properly, isn't it? Mm.
Exactly, isn't it, Connie? Do it justice. It looked pretty awesome. I've got to find um, a lighting kit for that um, Lost in Space one, Jupiter 2. Matt Mods was saying that you can buy the lighting kit and then just to adapt, adapt it. Hold on a minute. Oh, no, exactly. You know, it doesn't hurt to learn new skills, Connie. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how many builds, any kind of build you do, there's always new skills to be learnt along the way. It's like I've been building models for 40 years on and off, and yet, you know, I'm, I'm still learning myself. Because no build is never the same. Plus, like you're doing a lighting kit, that's another that's that's another learning curve. I'm sure you'll figure it out, okay?
Like that. Well, exactly, Collie. Yeah. And your friends to answer the questions, especially those who knows what they're doing. Hello, Peter. Peter's saying hello to Connie. Connie says hi back to Peter. Have to build these in two stages do the large parts first and then the fiddly bits after when these are dry when these bits are dry these are the uh, bf 109s Just hope I don't get my internet knocked out again while I'm streaming. You'd have to come into a stream with me one day, Connie, or one of mine, one day. So if my internet goes off, I do apologise in advance. Uh, Peter says he is just soldering. Soldering just needs the right temperatures and good quality solder, not the lead-free rubbish, Connie, as I use 6040 solder and brush-on flux. Yeah, you need the brush-on flux. It's much better.
Yeah, that's cold, Connor, yeah. Yeah, I'd like that too. Right. I'm just I'm working off Streamlabs today. I'm not on StreamYard. So I can only stream by myself at the moment while I'm on Streamlabs. Oh, there's a massive time difference. <clears throat> what I'll have to do, I'll have to do a stream through the day, on your day, through the daytime, so you can come on with me. Because mm. you're normally at work when I live stream at night. And so I'll have to switch one of them around one day. <laughs> you was one of those screwdriver happy people was you peter when you was a kid you sound a bit like my brother he used to take everything to bits my dad came home well my mum and dad come home one day from work and uh, they found the old stereogram in bits yeah They've been meddling with it. That's the only way to learn, though, isn't it? Take stuff apart and try and put it back together. He just says, I've always been curious about how things work. Still tinkering at 47 years later. Yeah, well, why not? I've got past all that kind of thing. <clears throat> From uh, years of stock car racing. Hmm. Cold winter nights in the garage. Laying underneath cars, putting engines in, pouring rain, snow, wind. Nah, not for me anymore. Too past it for that kind of thing now. Yeah, I'm working with the flies again. Uh, Connie says, I bet he was unhappy, Peter. Uh, my first husband studied electronics and still have 
it's soldering iron somewhere. Yeah, little fly. <laughs> Flies. Uh. Mind you, saying that, I mean, I had a good little mechanic. My uh, ex-wife, she used to do all the mechanicing. She was very good at it. If I was working and we got a two-day meeting on or something. And she even put an engine, she put an engine back together one night for me while I was at work. Completely rebuilt it, put it back together. had a couple of trophies that day. She did a great job. Uh, Peter says, I have a collection of seven different types of soldering iron I use. Cool. I went out and bought myself one so I can do the Malar build because I think I'm going to have to start soldering that because I can't see that super glue holding that together. Mm. Seem to be doing okay so far. Not got knocked off yet. <laughs> Connie says, wow, I'm more of an assistant grease monkey. I can do it when someone's knowledgeable tells me what to do. Uh, yeah, I just gave, I just laid everything out for her. And uh, I gave her the book. And I told her what to do. Left a set of instructions because she had to regrind all the valves in. Uh, put the new head gasket on because I had the uh, head um, reground. I had a, had a sixty thou took off it. I think it was around about 60,000. Of course, it, to uh, change all the valves, they had to be all regrounding by hand. So she did all that. She put the head back on the, on the block, the new head gasket. She put all the other new gaskets on. Uh, she put all the rest back together, the carburetor, uh, everything else, everything else that was around it. And she even put it in. She even put it in herself. Mm -hmm. 
She did a great job. She even tuned it. Went like a rocket that day. No flies on that woman. A lot of Peter Webster says, I once built a new race engine for my 78 Vauxhall Chevette 1.4 in my living room and cut a hole in the coffee table to use as an engine stand. <laughs> and went from 1400cc to 3.2 litre. Quick as I could ever see. Did you not it? Uh, Connie says I've helped rebuild an engine, put it in a holly put in a holly carburetor, and replaced oil, gas lines, and did change the oil in my pickup many years ago. You see, well, there you go. You see. <clears throat> I've always said women can do as much as a man can do. In fact, actually, some women can do stuff better than a man. That's for sure. Yeah, I thought so, Peter. <laughs> I knew you'd lost it. 
<laughs> yep, but proof fatal, dropping a valve at 16k revs per minute. Well, I should imagine it did. It makes it worse because they're all alley block, aren't they? As well. Three down, two to go. Well, half the plane. Half the plane. Uh, Connie says I was lucky. I was never told I couldn't do something just because I was a, I was a girl. What? Food. No preference? No. Sorry, I was just talking to my daughter. Yeah. Um, yeah, we see this is it, Connie, yeah? <clears throat> I've always said about a woman, no matter what you're looking at in front, always look behind the wardrobe in the brains. Yeah, so, yeah, pass it down to your daughter. Yeah. So my eldest daughter, she's 38. I've got two daughters. My eldest daughter, she's 38. And uh, they bought their house. And she was digging all the foundations out for the extension while her husband was at work. And she poured all the concrete in, mixed it all up.
Oh, thank you very much, Peter. I'll be looking forward to the um, stickers and the key ring, my man. Thank you. I did get in touch with Stephen. And he says, thank you very much. But he's going to get in touch with you personally to say thank you. Yeah, I will do, Peter. I didn't get really a chance to talk to him because he had all his kids round and, and his grandkids. So I didn't get really a chance to talk to him. He was surrounded by grandchildren when I, when I found him. Old chat's a bit thin on the ground in the second half of this. We must be doing other stuff. Five viewers.
uh, Connie says just waiting for cooler weather to build a 3.7 meter by 11 meter car cover carport. A little hot to dig footings and work with concrete. <laughs> I'm going to imagine it is out there. I think last year, I think last year was the hottest summer we've had in a few years. But I mean, 40 degrees here is like a baby shower out there, I, I could imagine. I mean, we only had that 40 degree heat for just one day. Well, it was actually half a day. So, but we're normally in the sometimes in the 30s, 30, 35, 35 at the most, which is a drop in the ocean compared to the heat you get out there, Connie. I couldn't live in a hot climate like that. Plus, we don't have air con, so. <laughs> Peter says, what are you putting under it? A semi? When he says, I have a 1987 Dodge Ram D100 pickup with the long bed and a Kia Sereno tow 30C with 83% humidity at the moment. Wow.
the fuck you're in the homes. Seen a few American pickups here in the UK. Man, that big. Especially the long body. About as big as a bus. <laughs> My father's brother, he used to own a uh, Cadillac Fleetwood. Man, the size of that thing was huge. Sometimes tweezers just do not work. You have to pick it up and do it. Oh, I'm getting frustrated with this. So I'm gonna play ball.
Well, that's draw. I'll have to give that a bit of a stand in. Yeah, they're huge things, Peter. They're like tanks. One in there. Four down, one to go. So I've got five viewers, two in the chart. The sort of thing you need to do to give to your kids for punishment. <laughs> is it an automatic, uh, Connie, or is it what you call a stick? We call them manuals. Yeah, you have a nice Chinese, eh? Nice Chinese, Peter. Well, Cantonese, still the same thing, isn't it? Cantonese, Chinese. Egg fried rice is lovely. Mm. Manual transmission. Nice. I've always said uh, automatics are for lazy people. <laughs> I've only ever owned one automatic in my whole life and I hated it.
Peter says, I have an auto VW Sharan, and I'll say you pronounce it. Uh, Connie says, first, first is a granny car. Oh, oh, first is a granny gear, mostly used second and third when driving around town. Uh, Wayne Wellis says, hi all. Hello there, Wayne. Uh, Lord Peter Webster says, any higher than third, you need a fuel tanker following you around, Connie. You'll find most cars in America now, Peter, or most of them are European. They don't make the big tanks like they used to. They're, they're like few and far between now. They're classed as classics. Mm -hmm. Am I right in saying that, Connie? America's car market is dominated by Europe. Got <laughs> loves loves to run when he can, yeah. That's when you're a bit flush with money, yeah? But it's saying hi to Connie.
worth on not saying too much. Concentrating. <laughs> If anybody builds this kit, when you're building the planes, the BF 109Ts, when you're doing the um, the back wings on the tail, where it's connected to your connection sprue is it looks like uh, just a connection sprue, but it's got a little bit on the end of it that you need. And then there's like some holes that you're going to see. There's like some holes and that they're like left and right. It's like a left and right on here. So that's one thing to look out for if you ever do this, this kit. Must leave a little bit of that connection screw on. <clears throat> I clocked it straight away. Mm. Yeah, concentrate, 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 Wayne, yeah. You might as well order it, Peter, before they try to run out of stock. At least you'll have it in your collection for when you want to build it. I don't do helicopters. I don't like doing wingy things full stop. I've got a, a big 148 um, <clears throat> Memphis Bell B17 sitting in a box. <clears throat> Waiting and ready to be built, but it's like I say, I don't really like doing wingy things.
Wait, what it says? Well, I've got a bit of peace and quiet tonight as the missus gone bingo. And when the kids go to bed, I can possibly do some kids. Cool. Escape to the hobby room. Uh, Peter says, sounds like a plan. Wayne, I'm glad it's quiet here now. The house is empty. So I'm chilling on my bed watching my iPad. Brilliant. It's flopping about all over the place. Like. Can't touch them anymore now until all them bits are dry.
But yeah. Part of BF 109s. I'd love to, I'd love to have found some ME 262s in this, in this size. Yeah, it's just a little some ME 262s and the V1 and the uh, doodle bug because I would have turned the front of this ship into a um, <clears throat> where the doodle bugs come straight off kind of thing and some M ME 262s sitting on the carrier with some BF 109s Mr. What If <laughs> But I think I'd upset a few people doing it. I don't think they'd be happy. I mean, well, it says I may just do an unboxing first before I start, as I need to get my channel content up again. Uh, Wayne says, what scale are those planes? They are for the uh, 1350 scale aircraft carrier. So you know how tiny they are. Lord Peter Webster says, fly scale, Wayne. Peter Webster says, go for it, Wayne. Wayne well, he says, now when you hold it, you need to make the plane sound. No. <laughs> I don't do plane noises, Wayne. Sorry. <laughs> Definitely not. I can hold it near the screen and then you can do it. <laughs> there you go. Make your plane noises. <laughs> what the hell have we been on? 122. I don't know the BF109s. I'm any more bits on until them bits are dry. I'll bag that up. <laughs> I knew you would, Wayne. <laughs> one of these Junkers 87 yeah these are a monoplane Even the biplane still lasts. <laughs> I thought somebody would have produced them ME 260s in this scale. Yeah, they're for a 1350 uh, aircraft carrier, Peter. I don't think you'll find any because I've looked. 
I would need to get some um, 3D printed, I think. Same with the uh, doodle bug. Uh, Mine says back in a bit. Some wants to play chess. Uh, he says he's going to stay lurking. Cool. All right. I'm only going to be running for another half an hour anyway. So. Mm. Near shouting in the background, it's my son. He's been a retard. All right, Peter. I suppose I didn't make that kind of thing, ME262s in this scale, because there would never ever be any call for them to put on an aircraft carrier. Mm -hmm.
It's on the front of this ship. It's got a pair of catapults. Right on the front. And I was thinking about raise. If I could get, get what I wanted, I would raise the platforms and then make them a little bit longer. Definitely get called out for doing it though. I do. I suppose it's no different to the uh, space Yamamoto, yeah. space the spaceship version Yamamoto. That's a kit. I think they do a three or four kits of different ships. Of the space version. Can't quite remember who makes them. I don't know whether it's Fuji or whatever. Oh, Let's let that dry for a bit. Yeah, okay, Peter. Yeah, I've just looked at it, I think. Could bring the camera a bit closer, but it would keep flickering. Mm. I'm going to have to plug that one in I got from you, Peter, the one you sent. I'm going to try it out later.
Because this one, if you get too near it, it flickers. Yeah, I can see your point now, Peter. I think I've got about well over 200 kits to 300 kits sitting, just sitting there unbuilt. <laughs> well, then, uh, yeah, it's just... <laughs> well, <laughs> mind boggling, really. Yeah, I've got uh, two two big cupboards full. And they're big cupboards. The Cobby says two to three hundred kids. I don't feel so bad about my stash then. <laughs> Yeah, I went on a mud mud spree buying for a couple of years. Got a bit out of control. Oh God, sake, she thinks I'm talking to her, and I am. <laughs> Mm. That's only trouble when you're running on Streamlabs. You ain't got a mute button. That's only trouble. <laughs> Uh, Peter says, uh, I'll have 35 shelves full of kits, electronics, and RC sorts, lasers, cutters, 3D printers. Oh, wow. Um, Peter says, who is that? <laughs> it's my mother. It's my children's mother. Well, two of my kids anyway. Oh, you have to excuse if you hear swearing. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you definitely got more than me, Ross, that's for sure. <laughs> Even I don't feel quite so bad now either. Oh, you're not there. Peter Webster says, Hi, Ross. Not Peter Webster says, So no more, so, so no more love out there. <laughs> yeah. Sky Modern Ninja says hi Peter. Connie says hi Ross. Ross says hi Connie. And we've got MP Model Plastics just come in the stream. Says hello Lindsay and for the guys in the chat, greetings. Greetings to you, MP Plastic. Mm. For those of you just come in, I'm building some little flies, little fly aeroplanes for the uh, graph sapling. Aircraft carrier. That's what Peter calls them anyway, calls them flies. Hmm. 
Um, no, hoarders are the ones who, who are the collectors, not the modelers. Oh, yeah, the collective name for us is modelers. But no, it's like two different things, Peter, isn't it? Hoarders are the collectors. We buy them, intend to build them, intending to build them, but we have too many. That's what I say anyway. <clears throat> uh, MP Model Plastic says, uh, hello, uh, Connie. Uh, Peter Webb says, hi, MP, uh, MP. MP says, hi, Lord Peter. Yeah, that's what I say anyway. You know, we buy them in intentions of building them. And then we go buy more. So they get moved further back down the pile. I mean, I've got some in there that's been in there, what, nearly 11, 12 years? Probably longer. Hmm. The people I call hoarders are the collectors who don't even open the box. Cellophane's still on them, and all they do is collect them. Mm. What was it? About five years ago, I think it was. I bought this uh, international trans star of this guy, and it was an original issue from 1978 or not 79, I think it was. And one of the original issues. It was AMT Ertle. Well, it was just known as Ertle, really, but I, AMT did have a hand in it. And. Um, so I'll put it on the Facebook group. Do I build it or stash it? So I kind of left the poll up and everybody was more or less people was just saying, oh, you know, keep it, collector's item and all that. <laughs> so I left it for a couple of weeks. Now I got it out on the bench, took photos out of it, undone the box, ripped the cellophane off it. No, you, you should have heard them. They'll go mad. Uh, I think sod it. You know what I mean? Plastic's meant to be built. Doesn't matter how old it is. Because some kids, they get to a certain age and they become, some of them become unbuildable because the plastic gets that brittle. And it just breaks up. You can't build it at all. It's just a waste. You know. But I mean fair 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 play to the collectors. I mean, you know, they they collect them, um, they get to a certain age and they'll probably sell them on. It's just all about money. But uh sod the money, let's build it. Mm. I don't know what your views are, guys. It's like giving a kid a toy and tell it not to play with it. <laughs> yeah, it was the only aircraft carrier. Uh, well, as far as I know, there was three on order, as far as I know. <clears throat> but I think she was the only one that was 85% finished. 
and then she was used in tar- used for target practice in 47, 48, somewhere around there by the Russians. Um, I'm going to build the planes of the main fleet of the aircraft carrier. Cool. Uh, the BF 109 T2s, the Junkers 87 Stuka, and the Fizzler 167 biplane. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this kit's, kit's got the uh, BF 109Ts, Junker 87s, F1 167s. And the IR-195s. Uh, Peter says, I'm going to assemble the Ferrari display case tomorrow and put the car in the, followed by the final stage, fitting the lid and ID number plate, ID number name plate. Oh, brilliant. Thought you were going to do that today, Peter. <laughs> uh, MP Plastic Model says, "This are the fleet aeroplanes from the Grass Zeppelin." Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, they are. That's very true, Peter. We get brittle the older we get, though. Yeah. Yeah, Peter says I build as when it is quite enough to concentrate building. Uh, Connie says I have a 1977 MPC RD D2 still in its plastic. I'm not sure if I if I build it or just add to R2 collection, but I will build the Bandai R2. Well, it's it's like. It's each to your own, isn't it, really, Connie, whether you want to build it or not. Mm. I mean, if you've got an extensive collection with uh, kind of Star Wars stuff and everything else, you know, it's it's nice to have in the uh, collection, isn't it, if you don't want to build it. But I'm sure as old as it is now, it would be it would be kind of brittle, depending on what kind of plastic it's made from. Yes, it's it's one three fifty uh, MP. Yeah, one three fifty. Oh, cool, Peter. Was the display case uh, an extra addition to the to the build, or is it something you had made up yourself? <laughs> That's a good one, Wayne. He says, My son got a fair bit to learn. Checkmated him twice. I bet he's not happy with you then, Wayne. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I know them part works. They the two two year builds, aren't they? I mean, I've done I've done one. And now I'm on the process of doing the second one. I did the uh, the tiger the tiger one by Hachette. That was a two year build. And then now, as you know, I'm doing the Mallard by Hachette, which is over 10 years old. This laptop in the walls, it'll go dead. Yeah, this kit's made by. Yeah, this one's a trumpeter one. Oh, Peter, that is a lot of money. Yeah, he's, he's he's he's. I think he's too in bent. Uh, he's 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 too hell bent on trying to beat you the way. Yeah, instead of thinking about what he's doing. Well, I mean, if he's only nine, yeah, fair play. He just says I should get my first pack of out in Senna Lotus F1 car built soon. Oh, nice! Who's that by Peter? Who, who's mate? Who makes that? Is that Agora? Uh, Connie says the cost is what keeps me from starting the R two kit and waiting to collect the parts. Okay, and my way he says, "Oh, nice." <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, it's by Phantom, is it? Cool. Well, right, guys, I'm going to have to go because my dinner is ready. 
But, uh, thank you for everybody who came in anyway. We did two hours. Oh, it's like a, it's, uh, it's the Agostini one then. Yeah. Okay, let's just change this. Yeah, so we've got a few bits done. Not as much as I wanted. Took two hours just to make, well, half make. Two, four, six, eight, nine planes. <laughs> so that's cool. Well, thank you very much for coming in anyway, guys. And, uh, yeah, bye, Wayne. And uh, I shall see you again soon. I think the next time my live feed will be after the weekend. Uh, I probably won't do any more live feeds now until the Wednesday, the Wednesday night one. But you never know, I might drop another one in, uh, depending on who's about. So, yeah, and you, Connie, I hope you uh, have, a good, uh, have uh, a good day for the rest of the day. And, uh, yeah, so so don't forget, uh, we've got the Wednesday night live feed, uh, 7 till 9, which is the PPM stream. And uh, then we've got the Thursday night stream, which is 7.30 till near enough about 10 o'clock at night. So that's that one's an open panel, but the Wednesday one is invitation only. So, yeah, Rome wasn't built in a day way. <laughs> Definitely, definitely not built in a day. Right, guys, so I'd like to thank you all for coming along and uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, can you please subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell? All helps with the analytics and make my channel grow. So take it all. Bye-bye for now, guys. Bye-bye.